Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to the third episode of my third draft challenges series. If you guys are enjoying this series, drop a like on this video. 50 likes as usual would be awesome. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. In the last episode, we built a pretty decent Brazilian team, but unfortunately got knocked out in the first round itself. In today's episode, we'll be building a Serie A third draft. Also guys, let me know down in the comment section what kind of third draft you guys want me to build. What kind of, you know, challenge or stipulation you guys want me to have. Just let me know down in the comment comment section below now for the formations we've got some pretty decent formations here like the 4-2-3-1 or the 4-5-1 i'm going to be going with the 4-5-1 here because obviously the Serie A has some decent midfielders like paul pogba if you could get that team of the year pogba it would be just ridiculous but here we do get team of the iniesta but it doesn't fit the team we also get man of the match suarez and obviously inform ozil all of these are very good players here but we have to go with handanovic and choosing a you know goalkeeper as our captain isn't good at all so we got to go with handanovic but he's a decent goalkeeper and it really helped the team i guess but let's see who we get in our center back position here do we get seria yes guys we do get seria this greek center back from hellas verona uh it seems decent here i mean 76 rated and uh, not bad at all helps the chemistry obviously we need to build a complete seria team here we get some options here we have Juan jesus we have raul albiol and even zapata here because Jesus is the fastest player, I'm going to go for him. And apart from that, he's Brazilian, so he could be getting more links than, you know, quite of the other players. I mean, that's Greek centre-back, probably not going to get any other links apart from, you know, Serie A players. So, I think a yeah, Brazilian would really help. But here we have to go with the lowest-rated player, which is this Russian guy, who doesn't really fit the squad at all. In left-back position, we do get Alexandro. In the last episode, I think we got, you know, in for Marcelo. He's pretty good, but obviously Alexandro here fits the team really well. He gets a strong link there with Juan Jesus, which is actually pretty good. Now, in left wing position guys if we could actually get Lorenzo Insigne he's a player I really want to try out but we actually don't get him hopefully we'll be able to get him on the bench but for now we get El Sharabi which is actually pretty decent I mean he's got a great card I think this is his first in form if I'm not wrong I think he'll be a very good player for us in central midfield we do get Guadi in the normal card of him I, I don't think he has an in form does he have one guys let me know in the comment section below because I'm not sure but if he does have one we couldn't really get him but the normal card build who is actually got a pretty sick card let's see if we do get another Serie A midfielder. Unfortunately, we don't get one. I'm going to go with this Russian league guy because I don't have a choice. Remember, guys, if we don't actually get a Serie A player, we have to pick the lowest rated one. So that's why I went for the Russian guy. Again, we don't get a central midfielder from the Serie A. We have to go for this Mui guy. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. Any Australians can let me know how to pronounce his name. Just let me know down in the comment section below because I have no idea how to do so. But this Russian guy actually does get a link with our right back. You know, a perfect link, which is actually pretty decent. Now, on the right hand side, we don't get a right winger from the Serie A and I mean are there any good right wingers from the Serie A I'm pretty sure they are I can't really remember right now oh yeah there is Quadrado obviously he's got five star skills and apart from that I think there is even Candreva but I had to go there with Shakiri because he was the only player I could choose I mean he was the lowest rated there in striker position we get some really good strikers there but obviously we have to go with the lowest rated one which I'm going to be taking is Aubameyang because of his pace because anywhere we have to put a Serie A player in that position if we could get Gonzalo Higuain the 88 rated one that would be just ridiculous here but for now i put Aubameyang in that position we do get insignia here which is i think really big for this team we can actually put him in midfield or else shut in midfield and that would definitely increase the chemistry of this team but i wish i could get the you know better version of insignia here i'm going to be taking Kandreva or maybe even philip anderson both are really good players here Kandreva has got the better all-round card and Philippe Anderson's got the more pace. He's a man of the match card, but I'm going to go with Kandreva. I'll put him on the right-hand side and he should really help the team. But for now, it won't actually because obviously we, our striker is from a different league and, you know, the right-back and the central midfielder are from, you know, the Russian league. Again, guys, we don't get a Serie A player. I have to go for that Bundesliga midfielder. Let's see if we do get a Serie A player in this. Yes, guys, we do get and it's Biglia. He could be big. I mean, he's an Argentine, so he could link with, you know, a lot of players from other leagues and all that. So that's really good to see that we got you know Biglia here again we don't get a central midfielder or you know defender from the Serie A which is kind of disappointing but actually we don't need a center back from you know the Serie A we only need a right back actually again guys no players from the Serie A kind of annoying you have to go with Cohen Trau he's the lowest rated player there if you could get a Serie A goalkeeper we already have one actually why am I even asking here guys we have to take Boruce because he's the lowest rated player so we'll take him but anyway we don't really need him and Danovic will do a much better job up till now the team is looking pretty good we just need a striker and we do get one and Mario Mandzukic I wish I could take the team of the year Ronaldo he's such a good card in this game even though I'm a Messi fan and all that but honestly guys team of the year Ronaldo is just ridiculously good in this game I'm gonna put Kandreva on the right hand side there and probably Biglia in midfield I think if we could put Insigne instead of that right back not right back Insigne instead of the central midfielder who's Russian 
things could look really good for us. You have to take Castan here, and actually I'm thinking I could actually play a centre back in that right back role, and then maybe the team could look much better. We'll think about that. Let's see if we do get a steady up player. We don't get, and we have to pick the lowest rated player. I'm gonna go for this Topal guy. Seems like a pretty decent player, and I would love to try him out, but honestly, I'm not gonna be using him. But anyways, let's see if we do get another steady up player. This time we again don't get one. The lowest rated player is Sinclair. Again, a player. No, it's actually this Orokso guy. I'm not gonna be using him anyways. Again, in the last position, yeah, no Serie A player again, which is, I think, disappointing. We have to go for this Vadilo guy from the Liga BBVA. But anyways, this is how the squad looks, and I'll just arrange it and all, and, you know, find the best chemistry I can, and show you guys. So, this is what I did with the squad. I put Insigne on the left-hand side, El Sharabi in midfield. In the right-back position, I put Juan Jesus. He does have the pace. He does get, I think, 7 or 8 chemistry. If we could get, you know, a Serie A manager, we do get one. We'll take this gold guy. I think he'll improve the chemistry a bit. And there you go. We get 100 chem, 82 rated, 182 foot draft. Not the best of teams, but pretty decent here. I think we've succeeded in building a really decent foot draft team. If we could have just got, you know, someone like Paulo Dybala, Gonzalo Higuain, this team would have looked much better. Even that team of the Air Pogba would have just literally changed things, but unfortunately we couldn't. And this is the team we are facing right now. This guy has got such a good team. Look at that, Bale on the right hand side, and obviously Messi as well. You know, he's got Griezmann, he's got Hero Ronaldo in midfield, Dani Parejo, and he's got the man of the match Varane here. But things did start off really well for us here, as his goalkeeper did make a mistake. And Mandzukic here with the ball, and he just puts it into the back of the net. A pretty decent finish there. Obviously, it's an open net, so you would expect a player like Mansukis to score that but then this guy did manage to come back in this game here's Paulo Dybala for him puts the ball into Leo Messi and team of the year Messi isn't gonna miss from that range and after 40 minutes he makes it 1-0 I'm really annoyed to see that this guy's got Dybala and we haven't because Dybala would have made the squad literally 10 times better because I love that guy I mean his card is just ridiculously good I think that 83 informed card of Dybala that's the one I'm talking about that is just ridiculously good I've brought on Aubameyang to you know help us you know get another goal in this game and potentially get into the next run of the foot draft here yeah, i mean what what's my defense doing i don't even know i mean one of the players on the edge of the box get and gets nutmeg there and then bail with a pretty simple finish and after 51 minutes it is 2-1 to this guy. I really don't want to get knocked out again here, but brilliant work there from Kandreva into El Sharabi, and we are back in this game. In the last episode, we did get knocked out in the first round itself with that Brazilian team. I don't want to get knocked out again in the first round. If we could get, you know, maybe to the semi-finals, that'd be amazing. But that's it, guys, for the 90 minutes of this game. We are now in the extra time. I'm bringing on Shakiri there for El Sharabi just to give us more pace, and obviously El Sharabi is low on stamina. If we could win, win this game, it would be just ridiculous. Here's Gamut Bale here. Bale has other things on his mind, and look at that. I mean, Gamut Bale, this guy's got a ridiculous card and he just scores against us. I mean, none of our players are even above 86 if I'm not wrong, apart from Handanovic. Gamut Bale there scores, but we do manage to come back in this game from a header in the 128 minutes here from Aubameyang. I mean, this guy must be just furious with his defenders and all that, but lucky us that, you know, Aubameyang did manage to get his head to it and he did score. And it is now 3-0 and now we're going to go to penalties and the thing is, for the first three penalties, guys, we did score, he scored as well, and then the fourth penalty, big clear to take it and he messes it up the keeper does make the save and at this point i'm like shit we're gonna lose but then again it's gonna be griezmann to take the penalty yeah and obviously griezmann does score and i was like yeah i thought the same thing but griezmann did score and then obviously it's gonna be you know guardian to take a penalty you normally expect him to put it into the back of the net but look at that, he misses as well, and there you go. We get knocked out of the third draft in the first round again, which is pretty annoying. So hopefully in the next, you know, episode, we'll be able to go far in the draft. I'm going to be building a better squad, I mean, an easier challenge probably. So let me know what kind of challenge you guys want me to take on in the next episode of this series, which will be coming around next week. As you know, the schedule, you can have a look at it in the description as well. The packs are just awful lately, and we get, you know, more awful packs. Obviously, we did get knocked out in the first round itself, so we can't really expect too many good packs. We get Benatia here not bad i mean he's on loan so it doesn't really matter we have still two gold packs to open if we could get some decent bpl plays that'd be good because they actually do sell in this game again we get some russian guy which is really bad i think we did get him in the foot draft i'm not sure if he was the same player or not but anyways he's not going to sell anyways i mean i still have like 15,000 coins right now i mean i could get another foot draft entry but this is really annoying i mean the packs are so bad in this game i mean we barely earned our money back i think i just got back like one uh, not 1,000. i mean like 4,000 coins from you know actually playing the foot draft which is actually pretty bad but that's pretty much it for today's episode do let me know what kind of challenge you guys want me to do in the next episode of this series if you guys are enjoying this series drop a like on this video follow me on twitter to stay updated with the channel and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and i'll see you guys soon in another episode of this series